Good morning. Welcome back. It is 812, helping you live healthy. Each year, 795,000 people have a stroke, which is the nation's fifth leading cause of death. May is Stroke Awareness Month. Joining me now, Dr. Chris Fox from Mayo Clinic and patient Faye Bearcats. Thank you both for talking with us this morning. Thank you. Dr. Thank Fox, you I want to start with you. Can you define for us stroke and can anyone have one? Who is at risk? Sure, a stroke is a relatively broad term, but in general, what it means is when the blood flow is disrupted to the brain uh, and the brain is not getting the nutrients it needs, it starts to react poorly. And stroke can be either from a blockage of a blood vessel going to the brain, or it can be when a blood vessel bursts or ruptures and causes bleeding in the brain. So let's talk. And there about are many different people at risk, uh, older people and younger people. So both older and younger. Let's talk about symptoms. What do symptoms look like, feel like? How can one identify what symptoms are? Uh, sure, yeah. You know, anything that um, happens in the brain is going to affect your neurologic si uh, system. And that can be um, from your face drooping to your arm being weak to um, loss of speech to loss of uh, control of other um, you know, bodily functions, um, having difficulty walking, having difficulty thinking. So really, any time that you have uh, any kind of symptom that you think may be neurological, that could be a stroke. Faye, you had a stroke late last year. Tell us when and what happened. Um, I was at work and uh, I was actually on my lunch break and suddenly I felt blood rushing through the right side of my brain. Uh, then I became confused, dizzy and disoriented. Um, I thought it was just exhaustion at the beginning, but then uh, when I couldn't catch my breath and my heart was beating really fast, I figured something was wrong. Uh, I called my daughter and she came to pick me up. And I actually uh, was trying to downplay it. I didn't think it was that serious, but she insisted to take me to the hospital. That's when she took me to uh, the Mayo Clinic, the emergency room. Mm. And I was immediately admitted and diagnosed, you know, as having a stroke. And then Dr. Fox uh, performed the procedure on me, an angiogram. And that was life-saving. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're so glad that you're okay and you look amazing today. What, what month did you say that was? When did you say? Yeah. August, August of 2020. August. So not even a year ago. Uh, not even. No. Were you able, what, what, is your, what is your message to, to folks watching this morning? Were you able to, you know, you, you talk about your daughter picking you up and feeling all of these different uh, sensations. Were you able to articulate, verbally articulate what you were feeling? Were you able to walk? Did she have to help you? She did have to help me. Actually, it's, it's um, thank you for asking that. I... I thought that I was articulating what I was feeling, but obviously I wasn't. I, and that's the message that I want everyone to be aware of. Be aware of yourself and try to vocalize and also listen to the feedback from the people around you because it was the people around me who you know, brought it to my attention that you're not as good as you think you are. Uh, according to her, to my daughter, I was in the fetal position in the back seat of the car and I was telling her to take me home. I can sleep this off, but apparently it wasn't. So. Uh, just be aware, try to send a message to the people around you, ask for help. Do not try to uh, undermine any symptom that you feel is unusual. If, it's un if you think that it's unusual, it is unusual, act accordingly and call 911 immediately. And I'm assuming with that said, stroke never even crossed your mind. Not at all. I, I lead a very healthy lifestyle. I follow the Mediterranean diet. I exercise regularly three to five times a week. I, it did not even cross my mind. It wasn't until I got to the hospital and, the, you know, from the line of questioning that, you know, the questions that the nurses had asked me, uh, that's when it came, you know, they told me that you're having a stroke. Yeah. I did not think about it at all. It did not come to mind. Dr. Fox, why is it so critical for people to get emergency medical care so quickly? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and really, it's because time is brain. When you're having a stroke, every minute adds up and that can lead to further problems with your brain down the road. So you gotta get to people who can take care of you as soon as you can. And, and, and Faye brings up a number of great points. And one of them is the fact that I think many people, even people who are in healthcare, think about stroke being a disease of older patients. And that's not necessarily true. Um, younger patients can have a stroke. I have a, a friend who's a neurosurgeon who had a stroke days after his 40th birthday. Mm. Fortunately, he's totally recovered, but that was from a heart defect that he never knew he had. 
And so uh, if you have any of these symptoms, even if you're young and healthy and exercise and eat right, just like Faye did, you, you can't be sure that it's not a stroke. And so the most important thing is get to a hospital where people can take care of you as soon as possible. Yeah. Dr. Fox, Faye, thank you both for joining us, kicking off our coverage of uh, Stroke Awareness Month. Faye, we're so glad you're okay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.